Leader of the House of Representatives, Professor Julius Nyobere, has criticized the failure of both government agencies and private sector organizations to implement the prohibition against persons with disability act. He emphasized that without significant action, the law will remain ineffective and merely a formality. While speaking at a public hearing organized by House Committee on Disability Matters, Professor Oyobere noted that many Nigerians, including leaders of government agencies, perceive the act signed into law in 2018 by former President Muhammad Dubwari as insignificant. He urged chairman of the House Committee on Disability Matters to involve all relevant stakeholders to foster meaningful discussions and drive impactful progress on the implementation of the law. It is worthy of note that PWDs are a vital part of our society. They are family members or parents who cater for the family needs. They make invaluable contributions at workplace, participate in all activities that involve life. Therefore, they should not be limited in their activities and struggles to earn a living, get education, and enjoy equal rights. It is also of special interest to us the issue of accessibility to public buildings and the use of sign language interpreters in the media and for public communications. And that last line is really important. Uh, we will talk more in detail as the day go by. Most of the MDS lack the requisite technical capacity to mainstream disability in their work. On the other hand, the National Commission for People Living with Disabilities is yet to develop a sector-based training models to support MDS across diverse sectors. The Federal Ministry of Information, National Orientation Agency, and the National Commission for People Living with Disabilities are yet to put in place a robust all year round public awareness program to drive a national campaign against discrimination of people living with disabilities. What we really need in this particular time is to see the implementation of the already signed disability bill and also to see how the Honorable Member will also beautify the already signed. That is to look into it and maybe see why and why the bill need to have panel beating. I think the first thing is to deepen our collaborations with um, government agencies, especially Ministry of Works. The second is for us to also deepen our partnership with civil society and, um, and international organization. Because, sir, no matter what happens, you need funding. And until we are able to get the international partners to design and redesign their uh, project to accommodate proper funding for this kind of exercise. The current mass transit buses that have been inaugurated, CNG buses, I own cars, I own fleet of buses, I'm a person with disability, you should, I'm a transporter, but I can't even go to Q to convert my car to CNG. Neither can I also, I mean, my buses are lying there, people know that I'm a transporter. Ditto for so many of us like that. Let's even start from there. That's the current burner, you know, that's the one on the, on the front burner now. What of finance? We can't enter banks. Kudos to one or two banks that have started implementing initiatives that encourage, you know, accommodate people with disabilities. But we need to do more. 